So uh, uh, an extended series would be enjoyed by the crowd here at Red Bull Stadium right now. Everybody in attendance enjoying themselves around having some free Red Bull, talking to Day9 and Husky, just chatting it up, enjoying the League of Legends as well. But if we get in that game, we actually see a little bit of pressure coming in towards this top lane. And we see the Brax on the screen right now, but actually the players are in game. And Amazon actually pushing up towards top. EA Soraka could get caught up. And yes, Tarek's going to flash stun. And they actually pick up first blood underneath that top turret. The game is going on, guys. <laughs> and there we go. That kill has been picked up. It's 1 0 so far. Minutes have yet to spawn. No worries. Oh, apparently something's actually not able to see us. So, uh, one second, guys. All right. So going on, we have the game uh, underway. There we go. Actually, that was uh, the game hitting the wrong resolution compared to the actual uh, what we were expecting to see there somehow. But. We are here with the game, good to go. Apologize for missing that kill, but it was right up here. The Corvus Soraka was right there. We had Amazon come up through this way, snake through the brush, and then bam! Kill on a Soraka happened, it went exactly like that. Bam was even said. Here we go, the pull up on the Lizard and Lee Sin, going for that red buff. Looks like they are finally returning to their lanes here as they do dish out those buffs. A little bit of a tag there. Lee Sin actually taking quite a bit of damage. He may not be able to come for a fast gank after this, but he may. Yeah, it looks like he's going to head top. And Timo did just come out of the bush. He may have placed an early ward. No, he has boots and five. So he has a little bit of extra gold there assisting him to get some uh, of that health down, but will he be able to utilize that? It is no exhaust onto Lee Sin. They will be able to flash, but Lee Sin can also flash getting in with that strike on Sonic Wave and then uh, following up with the second attack, almost being able to get it down, but not happening. Looks like top lane will get babysat a little bit, but it's only going to be Teemo pushed out with flash, so Wizard has to play only a little bit more careful here. Yeah, so Wizard making a good move, waiting in the base for a fourth health potion. And came into the lane with that one, using it right now. As you said, his flash was down, but he did save his exhaust. And now Dr. Muna coming around. The top side, got to toss a cleaver into Narivar's face. Looks like he'll be okay, though. And again, the minion kill is going to be happening here at the bottom lane. We'll see how Graves does against his Caitlyn with the roll switch this time around. Vontag actually coming around, lands a stun. Soraka taking a whole lot of burst damage. Forced to heal right there as Caitlyn using her summoner heal. Sky getting pushed around. Kate still going for the damage output. The net coming off as well for Biggle Buns. Getting hit up a little bit by Scow. Looks like Wizard and Gasty still going for the pain on both sides. Wizard harassing very, very well. One in move quick, two in toxic shot. And is doing some pretty Ooh, good damage. Zero coming out of nowhere. Bottom, he being quite aggressive here. Coming out straight from the river. Oh, Ooh. just splitting the defense with his Q Dukin. And it looks like he's going to have the forest out of this one. Double buff on. He's not able to land any slows. Biggle Buns taking a briefcase to the face. And it looks like they're still just trying to poke damage back and forth. A good push by uh, Gasty Top. That blind is not going to stop his reckless swing. So he's always going to be able to trade damage with Wizard. However, Wizard now, with that little bit of a Teemo buff, is going to be able to use his poison to the uh, fullest advantage. And we can see Wizard milling about, doing some pain. Gasty getting poisoned up a little bit. Of course, actually going for an Undertow build, so he actually has two points in Q right now, relying on that rain spell more so than just Reckless Swing Spam. But he uh, ends up working well. Again, a dive coming in from Zayrol, doing some good damage to Rolante, but pushing back. But you can see that actually this Amazon crowd has been zoned out, so they're going to actually start missing minion kills. His Graves not too great on gold because of this. He's got 14 minions. The Caitlyn, 25. So Zayrol really helping his team build some advantages for themselves. Had burned the Teemo flash before. Really doing some good things there. Bottom lane playing quite aggressive. Biggle Buns able to do good damage to Skow again. Gasty up top, taking a little bit of poison shot, but you can just see how much damage that Undertow is actually doing every time he's able to throw it, chunking him down, going in for the reckless swing again. 
and just continuously hitting on Timo. Mid is being pushed quite well. Usually you see Morgana being the one pushing, but he's doing a great job of malefic visions on the creeps all the time and auto attacking to keep her back at her turret. You can see the lane resetting again um, right there. Mundo coming around top lane right now, and actually Wizard kind of baiting it out, puts the exhaust down. Gas is now getting pushed away, has Ghost, will juke the Cleaver, now trying to run for Mundo, can he juke the next one? Exhaust goes on again, Cleaver lands into his back, Gas is still trying to run, has a potion being used, Cleaver, that won't be a kill picked up by Wizard, nice job there. Zyro coming in, lands a Q, but that won't be enough. Now more coming by as well, but not level 6, so a good kill picked up. Dr. Mundo just crushing through that jungle, picks up a kill, has a nice amount of gold, That'll be enough for his heart of gold. Asai coming back down. Morgana did shove that wave to the turret, and so he actually missed out on a lot of gold for that move. Graves is left bottom by himself. Looks like Tarek went back to get that. No, not even Philo yet. He still has the vision board. He got boots and pots, actually, for himself to sustain in lane. Lee Sin taking top for a little bit as he returns to his jungle. Always a good thing, you know, we've mentioned this in tournaments. If you see the enemy's jungle out of, uh, inside the lane, they're out of their own jungle, you can usually use that time to invade, take a little bit of experience, and know that you're safe while having vision of where, they're, uh, where the enemy jungle is. So you can see that almost uh, happening sometimes. We did she's just see only a ward from Zero, though. He did not invade the jungle. Bottom lane still being pushed quite hard. Good traps by Biggle Buns, keeping himself safe for any... Uh, Offensive push from Amazon. And he's happy with this one right now. Olaf running through, trying to do some damage. Wizard actually again landing the undertow. And he's going to go in for the push again. Wow, undertows after undertow. So much damage. Wizard down pretty low. Going for a Riggles build, it looks like. And now harassing Gasky once more. Will he go for some more pressure? Or will he just kind of chill out for now? As Olaf. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, guys. Bot lane, a kill picked up there. Scout taking down Soraka. Mundo coming in. Make that one happen as well. Very low on health. Actually, all of them taking a bit of pain. Viggo Bun's not able to push them away. Another stun coming in from Tarek. But he's out of mana, so he will not pressure in too much more. We see the push down here. Messiah coming down. It looks like they're all just going to use that river path. It's not warded in the tri bush. They do not know that. However, Mundo coming back on this one is only halfway to six, so he's not going to get his ultimate in this fight. That would have been very dangerous for them to commit to. I think Malzahar is going to start bush creeping here on the bottom lane. I don't think he's going to uh, achieve anything out of this, so he may just be wasting a little bit of time soaking up Biggle's XP. And Morgana is just having what, or doing what she wants mid. Looks like she's going to go over for blue now. And uh, still, Messiah wasting some time bottom. Yep, so let's see Morgana going for a roam, getting spotted by a ward as she goes. Nope, actually going to turn around and go for that golem. Actually, it looks like she wants to solo it. Lisa knows she's there, could go for an evade. Now she's looping all around her... I don't know what Morgana's doing, actually. I'm kidding. Um, <clears throat> but we see Kate and Soraka just zoning out. Meltar actually waiting in the brush as well for this push. As his minion goes down, he will zoom on in. And there we go, Malzahar has made the move across the brush. Amazon does not know he's nearby. This could be a kill coming in pretty soon. They need this one. It's 3 right now for Amazon. And there comes the pressure in, the silence and the pool. But he will not turn into the ultimate. Sky will make it out alive. Level 5 right now, still poking into Biggle Buns. 80 armor right now, so Kate is not hitting very hard. Yeah, I was just going to say, Graves doing a great job of keeping that harass up whenever you... Oh, he smites it! Ooh nice job there, Zyro. Predicting as that goal would go down. Drops the board. Steals the blue away. Great play. Very nice job there. We're going to see top lane. It looks like the trade is actually going back and forth. And when we say trade, when champions go in to attack each other, you never really want to attack unless you're going to be able to do the same amount or more damage in that damage trade. So these guys going back and forth. It looks like Olaf can't continue to trade that because of the range um, that Wizard has. has been, and oh, Muno is in there, jumped oh. over, does go to the goal and they are able to take him out. That was probably the best Lee Sin kick I've actually ever seen in commentator history. He kicked him into Olaf, but had already landed Sonic Waves. We so actually followed him through the wall, and Olaf was like, hi, guys, I'm going to help get a kill real quick. And that was, that was absolutely phenomenal. So now Wizard alone. Oh, he does not. Oh, he lands the Q. He's going to go in for the punch. Exhaust is on. But still, force Wizard to burn both his summoners, oh, and again, I'm missing bottom lane. Stepping up another kill. Sorry, not watching any of that glory. 
but 2 0 and 1 on that Graves, despite getting zoned out early, still down 20 minions. But he's picking up kills over and over here. So, a really good push now down bottom. It has been both Narivar and uh, Bigel Buns falling to this Graves. He is now 2 and 0 with an assist under his belt as well. We're going to see what he has to go back. He does have 870 some gold. What did he buy? He looks like he gets a Vampire Acceptor and another Dorance. He's going to give himself a little more health to sustain in that lane. Olaf going back top now. He has. 1300 gold actually to spend. We'll see what items he gets. Maybe a heart of gold, something to give him some GP. No, it looks like he's going to be going for a Riggles as well. So Timo and Olaf both building a Riggles up top. Timo has finished his, and Olaf just piecing it together. Okay, so pretty similar builds up top. Although uh, Timo has the advantage of that one 300 gold kill thanks to that earlier, uh, that earlier gank from Mundo. Look at the minions, 49. 66. So yeah, Wizard really in a happy place right now. A lot of points in Toxic Shot. Maxing move quick second. And of course, he's got those mushrooms kind of laid, laying around in that lane and in those gank paths, keeping him pretty safe. Gasty push back to his turret. Undertow goes down. A lot of pressure onto these minions. Can he last hit well under this turret? So far, so good for him. He would wow. take some damage under the turret, actually. Olaf going to pick up some more with Undertow, picking up a little bit of gold for him. He's looking okay right now. Zeru pulling out a dragon, kind of attacking it by himself. A bottom lane didn't have enough to come up. He is kind of creeping up here behind them. Will he have enough minion? Uh, too many in his way. The safeguard was good, but there was just a line of minions stopping him from using that Q. Melzahar is coming down. We may see a fight as they're positioning here for dragon. We do see core space also following mid down. The sonic wave misses. Traps are down, briefcases are out. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. They're kind of just milling back and forth. Damage being done. Looks like they will start it. Malefic Vision goes down onto Dragon. That's going to tick damage 5%. Here we go. Looks like they will start to trade off. Dark Binding goes down onto Messiah. Morgana will follow with just Tormented Soil. That's going to hurt his magic resistance a little while, deal dam while dealing damage. But it looks like they won't be able to initiate a full fight. Core Space is really looking for the ultimate. The Black Shield goes down and they break all tethers. Lisa Will they be able to still going for this? Oh, Lisa did get hit by it. Zero goes down. They are going to trade one for one there as Tarek follows quickly after. The shot and the exhaust down onto Morgana. Everybody dodging the traps. Lord Zool finally hitting. They will have Nerevar. They will lose Soraka in this fight as she will not make it out alive. Another kill for Scott. And it looks like they are picking up quite a bit of gold here. 15,000, actually only 800 gold lead in favor of Amazon. But that Graves now 3-0 and zero getting quite fed. We're going to have to see what kind of items he can put uh, in his inventory within the next few buys here. He's definitely going to be outputting more damage than Caitlyn at down bottom. He's actually doing that right now. A few attacks leaves Biggles to farm at his turret. And uh, Timo still continuing to trade damage with Gasty Top. Wizard doing a very good job of keeping position in that lane. Yeah, you can see Biggle getting pushed back to his turret right now, as you said. And they're trying to keep himself alive right now, poking down these minions pretty successfully. You see Olaf is getting chain pushed by Wizard. He's actually just constantly putting mushrooms down and staying at the turret, using that Riggles, hoping to proc on these minions and pick them down as fast as possible. Gaining gold along the way and pressuring this turret very, very hard. Gonna go for these last hits there, picking up these last two. And again, back to the turret. And Gasty's not in good shape. Lee Sin is coming. He does have mushrooms. And let's see if they can get any pressure going on. He jumps in the ward. Will find Wizard there. The Undertow will miss, but oh, he doesn't have energy to land the cripple afterwards, so he can't keep the slow up. Uh -huh. He ran out of energy. He's still gonna jump in actually on the wizard. Not gonna get too much more out of this. Mushrooms though. everywhere. Great land. Actually, bottom lane's of pressure going off oh. onto Caitlyn as well. I actually saw bot lane fight when they didn't die. That's good. Thanks. Good job, Freak. You're really catching these kills. <laughs> so here we are. Looks like Zero is going to stay top, farm a little bit for himself, soak up some of this experience. It's going to be good for the lane as well. Having your jungler do this while you're gone, he's going to push all that experience into the turret that Teemo won't be able to get. The lane will most likely be very close to reset when Teemo gets back to the lane. Actually, Teemo's going to get there with his movement speed. Looks like Mundo will also follow, so they may try to go for a kill here. Moon, or Timo does not have any slowing. No frozen mallet build for him, so they're going to be trying to chase this one down. The cleaver does hit, and it looks like Bernie Agony is on. He safeguards to a turret, or to a ward rather, but miss clicks. Kicking back will bounce them up, and it looks like Zero will make it out alive, only having to use his ultimate. Still has enough to go into the jungle. 
Lou Malzahar picking up blue, and he's going to head bottom here. Let's see if he can get grades. Yeah, so both Mizanet wearing their golem buffs. Morgana not letting her camp out this time. Well, nice try with the flash from Malzahar, but not quite in range of Graves. Used quick draw, got out of that, no problem. Smoke Cloud and Ward both down here. Looks like EA going to keep pushing up near this turret right now. They've got pretty okay ward coverage. They can see that try brush. Timo taking out Wizard right now. It looks like Wizard could go down in this fight. He is going to be 2v2 situation as they come back into it. Timo almost keeping himself alive with the Wriggles. A cleaver on Desiro, but he won't be able to go down. The reckless swing. Olaf now versus Mundo. Olaf coming in, but this one got him. It's in the dark binding. We'll have blue buff. Will should be able to throw that again. It looks like they're going to turn this one around on to Gasty, but here comes Messiah. Melzahar could get the ult off. Black Shield was used on Nemundo. Can he get that suppression down? Melzahar with his ult just using it, actually, and it was broken there. It probably got Black Shielded, I'm guessing. Yeah, he did get Black Shielded, so it stopped the ultimate. A very nice try as the fight is stalemated after Zero finally goes down. So, by the way, uh, Timo Mushroom picked up the Lee Sin who got away. Yeah. He tried to go back in to help the fight. Stepped on a mushroom, gave away a kill, so Rush Wizard actually turning that one around as a one to one despite getting picked up earlier. See, Caitlyn still pressuring his bot lane. Headshot can do some good damage. Oh, a fr oh, nice. Actually gets all the way into the brush with that uh, 90 caliber net. Getting out of that, uh, you know, takes a stun, but who cares? Not able to get shot by Graves. Ooh, some crit already picked up there. The early zeal. So going for kind of a, a, an interesting build here with double doors into a, a fast zeal. Um, we'll see if he goes for Infinity Edge next, but has some interesting early pressure here. And again, the pressure now going in. Oh, man, a lot of damage coming in. Soraka's not in a happy place. Ooh. Getting poked out quite a bit there. Just Grace low on board. mana. Ska almost picking up that kill. Probably if he had his W down a little bit more range, his ultimate, I believe, is up. So that would have been some pain to Soraka and most likely another kill for him. Still 3-0 and 2. Actually falling behind in CS a little bit, but Biggle doing a great job of making up for the kills he does not have with that CS. Some really good pressure onto this Morgana as well. Down to about one, or down about one third of her health. Uh, to about 1,400. She had gotten the first blood earlier, which meant a really, really fast catalyst. Oh, the Dark Binding! Almost lands onto uh, that Malzahar, so not in a really happy place right now. Let's see if you can keep going for some more. Here we go, seeing the bottom lane getting pressed out there. Caitlyn, can you push around a little bit? I think she'll be okay, though. Oh, wow, the pressure up on a Dr. Mundo as well, but there's the exhaust and the stun. Oh, a nice jump across the wall. Big ones happen to be at the exact perfect spot to keep him alive. Ooh, and very oh, nice lane. job. Morgana going down on Malefic Visions as well, just cutting out of the fog of war there. We do have maybe a little bit of an invade. No, they do not want to go for it. Lord Zell will start to back off. We do have Gasty Top running into mushrooms left and right there, trying to keep himself alive. Looks like he will take a little bit of the jungle, then return to lane to farm. Both teams have kind of taken some early turrets here. Actually, one team, that's going to be Amazon, taking an early turret. That makes it a little bit harder for Wizard to farm up top. It is great gold for his team, but he's going to be able to roam a little bit more. Not so much as farm, so he's going to be looking for kills now. If he doesn't get those, he may fall behind. That's only going to be a level or so. So right now, without having that turret, that kind of gives Olaf some free farm up top. It's going to be very scary if he is able to bring that to late game, as I said before. We do have positioning now for Dragon. A great uh, Oracle's on zero is going to allow them to sweep this map for wards and get a lot of coverage. And they've got really good wards, and there is no vision here, but Amazon knows what's going on. They drop a ward behind the wall, and they want to push in right now. They've now pulled up for themselves. Olaf has recalled, but it's going to be a 5v4. I don't think EA can go for this one. They can kill that team of Mushroom thanks to the Oracles. Lee Sin might try to go for something. He actually could Q in and go for the smite. Will he get it? Actually, does pick it up again, but now he's alone. Kicks that uh, Graze into the fight. The ult coming in. A lot of damage from Messiah. Looks like he's going to fall as well. Two kills wow. for one. And now they're going to have to keep running away. There is the flash. The Dark Binding goes out. Almost lands right there. Caitlyn Trap stops down Tarek. They've got a two for one, but they've lost the Oracles, which means if you're Amazon, you like how that fight went down. You just denied an Oracles and picked up two kills. Only lost the dragon for us, that's not too bad at all.
Yeah, doing very good there. That Morgana ulti actually pretty awesome. Stopped uh, Malzahar's ulti mid-channel, so they were both able to get those long channel ultis off, and Morgana coming up on top of that one. Just not enough damage in time for Malzahar to throw his down. Gasty doing what he can to kind of just poke at this turret. Doesn't want to leave the experience of those minions, but obviously knows his turret is going to go down, so he's going to just mill about here, soak up that XP, kind of give Timo a little bit of harass, and uh, go ahead and farm that lane. Again, top now being pushed. Timo could head back and grab some of those minions as that turret not being down allows that wave to be there. And it looks like still aggression from bottom. Biggle Bun's doing what he can to keep that farm up 154 to 113. So even with a 3, 0, and 4 graves, they are kind of itemizing the same way. If they're catching up, Timo actually building up for his malady, so he's really going for this on hit attack speed build. Has the phage in there as well, so 1.5 attack speed. He'll be doing a lot of bonus damage with Toxic Shot and with that Malady. He's going to be in some pretty good shape. Also with Zerg Greaves, so it's kind of a, a bit of a, a glass cannon type uh, build as well. We'll see if that works out well for him or if he gets picked off by Olaf in these later fights. There's a lot of assassin potential here, but Morgana waiting. <laughs> Both mages actually waiting to gank that bot lane. Morgana got a face check, and here comes the pressure. Catches up to him, and he's going to take a whole lot of pain right now. Exhaust is on, and that will be a kill picked up. Graves are coming in against these guys, and Muno chasing in a stun up on an arrow bar. He's not in happy place. Whereas it does go down to Lee Sin. Now, can they pick up this kill? Lord Zale getting hit pretty hard. His ult is on, trying to regenerate. Looks like he will be doing that. And now, Kate pressuring Tarek right now. Could also pick up. No, will not get these two kills, but Graves was forced away. Looks like wow. Lee Sin got away. Graves at no health whatsoever, but hey, two kills for nothing. EA's gonna like that a whole heck of a lot right now. That is a complete Karthus press R moment. Like, the, like everybody got away with about two, three hundred health, kind of regenerating now. They're not gonna be able to go down if they were to push this next turret, but a very good fight by EA to start that one off. Like you said, both. Both APs were just kind of hanging out down bottom. The mage is waiting to gank, and one just getting a little too antsy. We saw Morgana step out too early, and Core Space was the first one to go down in that fight. And it was just a really good turnaround from EA, something they needed quite a bit. They're up by 2K gold now, even though they're down by three kills. Turrets are all even here at 22 minutes into the game. Dragon objectives, I believe that last one was a steal by zero, so that was very helpful for them. EA kind of on their heels at this point. In the items of the game, actually, no, Kaylin picking up that Infinity Edge, very good for her. His Graves kind of wasted a little bit of money going for that Zeal. He won't be able to finish that damage output as early as he would like to. Yeah, absolutely. That Infinity Edge is going to mean a whole lot. So even though, actually with those kills, they are now up in gold, EA. So this is going for them. This is going well for them in pretty much every case they would care about. Uh, they've been able to kill that Teemo with, with a couple of Lee Sin ganks. They've got their Malzahar at three and, uh, three and one right now. And, uh, you know, even Gassy, in, you know, kind of a nice uh, nice job right there, of course, picks that one up with a max reckless swing. Even though he was counterpicked by Teemo, he's actually keeping up pretty well. Only 30 minions down, actually has a positive kill death ratio. This is working very, very well for pretty much everything for EA. They are looking very well poised to bring this one into their favor. However, as we saw last game, comebacks happen all the time. A lot of pressure now onto Morgana. Still getting kicked around. A lot of pain happening, but a nice dark body this is not looking good for Zero is going to flash away right now. And a flash away from Morgana ult as well. They're going to both survive. And now Amazon actually are in good places to uh, go for some pressure, actually. That's a great job of my Morgana to understand, you know, the mechanics of her champion. She threw out as much damage as possible to get that passive spell vamp back and actually negated a lot of the damage that Lee Sin did and acted as a tank for her team to get in there. And not innately a tank, but she can still understand how her kit is used to take those cooldowns and really give her team an advantage in the fight. And Black Shield is awesome at doing that with especially abilities like Lee Sin's. We see Mundo kind of pushing in here to the jungle. They are trying to get some invasion down onto this. There are three members, however, of EA poised and ready to fight this as they start milling about gathering together. Looks like Amazon is just going to get a little free reign of some uh, gold and creeps here. Yeah, and if I were them, I think I think pushing would work out well. As we talked about in the pregame, their ability to, do to sort of poke and, and, and fight from long ranges is better than EA's. With the exception of, okay, yeah, okay, they have Caitlyn, they, um, they have a healer. Uh, Soraka heals a little bit faster than Tarek does, but even still, I like Amazon's odds at fighting at long ranges. They're going actually for a fast Negatron cloak here on Morgana. I don't know if I like that build quite so much. I think she's just really, really squishy right now, does not have any armor. And actually, wow, EA going for a fast Baron. 
Now they've been spotted, they know about it, but you can see that team is very far away. Some decent war coverage from EA. That Baron at half health right now, and here comes Mundo leading the charge. This could go any which way right now. Are they going to pressure? Are they going to go for the Baron instead? And they do get the smite. They're going to go for Lord's Hill, but he gets kicked out and saved right now. Ignite is on. The pressure is there. Take in the same spot, but everyone else about to get pushed down. One, two, and three will fall right now. And wow. will they pick up Rolante? Zero is trying to do that. It will do that, but now Timo, kind of alone against a lot of champions, trying to get away now, is alone. And wow, that was a three versus four fight. EA did pick up that Baron. And the thing is also, Lee Sin smote early and still managed to get the Baron kill. That 10 gold went up, meaning that he smote. And they still got the gold, and they was just very, very fortunate there. I think if they actually had gotten Baron buff, this would have been pretty good for Amazon in that team fight. That surge of experience, the extra regeneration, and attack damage, and ability power, it might have been enough for them. But Kate and Soraka left alone to fight this Baron. I mean, if Wizard can stop them, kudos to him, but that's going to be difficult. You know, Amazon actually they did a really good job of getting into that fight. However, lose not getting the Baron, they were able to, as you said, get a lot of kills down, and they really did that by pushing out Biggle Buns, a huge amount of damage, and then focusing the other uh, other champions on the team that were going to do damage. And you saw Biggle Buns until the fight really started turning into EA again, until he was coming around the corner back into the Baron area. So if they can really focus Biggle Buns out of these fights, that Infinity Edge is putting out damage they don't want to see right now. But Graves, with that fight, able to pick himself up one as well after uh, I, he got like four assists on that so going yeah. ahead now he has a zeal his damage is going to be a little bit better than Caitlyn's now yeah until Caitlyn goes back to buy but she should have like two three thousand gold 1700 it yep. is right now so that'll be a zeal uh, and if you sell a Doran's blade possibly the crit cloak as well and yeah, yeah okay. anyway uh, moving on she's uh, gonna last hit at this turret get some gold back and uh, I would expect a recall after this next wave um, but yeah, I think this is a really good time for EA to push and really flex their muscle right now because they do have that Baron buff on two of their champions. They have built themselves a 4,000 gold lead, but they need to spend it and then use it on some items. Which is what spending means, of course. So, <laughs> useful commentary free. Looks like everybody's gathering around middle. As I stated before, you, have to be, uh, you don't have to be as careful when Baron is down. You can go ahead and farm the lanes you want to farm. You don't have to worry about objectives coming up. Dragon was also recently taken as well. The global gold now about 4,000 difference in favor of EA. 12 to 10 is the kill score as the turrets still sit 2 and 2. EA is poised and ready to start some fights here. It looks like the fights we're going to have to focus around buffs. The blue buffs and the red buffs, if they're not already taken, is really going to be where these ones are initiated. They do see top, but great mushrooms by Wizard allows him to know that he is in a dangerous area. He can retreat and play safely now, wait for the creeps to come to him. And what he's going to try to do here is not, or maybe he will just attack them right away, but you can freeze the lane by only going for the last bit of damage on each minion you see. But right now, he's actually pushed off off of that altogether because of how many people are up top and that 2v1 opposition it looks like he's going to be forced to farm at the turret. Yeah, scaggling for a turret kill is actually a really good move here. He's got really no one anywhere near him. They're all half a map away. He will deal enough damage here to pick this up. His eye edge and zeal in tow as you mentioned before and that will be a turret kill. That's going to bring it to 3 to 2. So despite losing Baron, Amazon are not losing turrets. Just EA is not doing anything with this Baron buff. They've actually used three and a half minutes of it so far and haven't done a single thing with it. Baron's going to respawn in, in the next three and a half minutes. So at a 31.45, we're going to have Baron come back into the picture. And, you know, honestly, EA, I really think they needed to get some pressure going on here. Once you've got Baron buff, you've got a Caitlyn, you can go for turrets very, very easily. Yeah, they're utilizing that down bottom right now. They have the split push going. This is where the factor of having Baron comes into play. A lot of the players on your team are now a little bit stronger. They have good health regen, and they can they can take those two-on-one fights. They can take a little bit more poke. So you can you can afford to spread your team out is what they're doing right here. Push these lanes consecutively on each one, and now that, that causes the other team to have to spread out. They don't have Baron buff. They don't have that advantage. So they're going to be a lot more susceptible to being taken down in those 2v1 fights. Yeah, and overall, just Amazon doing a better job of map mobility. They've split up EA very successfully, and uh, they've basically mitigated that entire Baron buff. So <clears throat> only a 3,000 gold difference. Not bad at all for a team who's lost every Dragon and, uh, yeah. and every Baron. But they've managed to make everything time out, and uh, they're, gonna re they're kind of ready to just chill. And, and I think maybe actually just catch up in gold a little bit. I think they 
are fine to sit around and sit on their heels and, and scale towards late game. I think Graves will have a better late game, and I think Mundo actually will have a better late game than Lee Sin as well. So they're okay to sit around. This is going to go well. Caitlin, usually a champion you see building attack speed quite early to utilize that passive of the headshot every seventh shot, or it comes up more if she is in a bush. But without that attack speed, she does have Last Whisper. That's going to help her crits hit a little bit harder, pass through the armor of her opponents. But with Graves on that E attack speed as well, coming from his ability, and his ability to now output more critical damage because of the Phantom Dancer having a crit ability and movement speed, he is, as you said, going to be outputting more damage. So in this fight, he is going to have to get himself in there quite quickly, and there's a lot of lockdown on EA, so he also has to be careful about that. Both of these teams counter each other really well in that 5v5 fight. Looks like some movement going up towards the top lane. Wizard knows he's alone right now. His whole team, though, in the mid. EA look a little bit confused. They could have gone for some pressure at top, gone for a turret, but I think they're afraid of getting shoved around in mid, and looks like Amazon actually running away from that potential. They have a ward right here that spots EA coming around. Messiah, he shouldn't be seen, although the uh, briefcase almost came in and spotted him. A really good initiation here from EA would be to have Olaf go in with Lee Sin right on his backside ready to safeguard. But if Olaf can grab most of the CC with his ultimate from Amazon, they will have a great upper hand in the fight for EA. We're going to quick pause here. Somebody may have DC'd, but like I was saying, if, if you can get Biggle Buns on the outside, especially to a team where Morgana's Dark Binding is down, uh, up to as well her ultimate being down and if big ones can just sit in there and Olaf take all those cooldowns he's very tanky already has the build of frozen mallet more armor being built he's going for the Atmos there so with his ultimate being able to just deny all CC all crowd control that is what EA is going to need for these fights all right so EA milling up they're, camp they're camping their mid lane right now and uh, Amazon despite being down still 2300 gold I said you know I guess we could have sent Timo solo top all game. He's got his frozen mallet now. He's very, very good at harassing and sort of staying alive in a 1v1. It'll be very hard to catch Timo in this game. And they're actually moving around for this, uh, this lizard buff right now. Zyril's been spotted. Lord Zale's around. Dark Binding will miss right now. Going to come back around and go for this. And they're about to get collapsed on. Now, can they get this kill? Will he go for the smite? Yes, Lee Sin picks that up. Excellent smite being used right there. And no. Oh, Wow, he's getting pushed around a little bit here. Core Space taking some damage. Zyro's still getting pushed around. There we go. Yeah. The ult goes off. And Morgana with a nice black shield keeping him alive. Pressure's still coming in on both sides here. Core Space getting dropped down right now. There's more pain coming off. Dr. Minos Holt is wow. down to pick that one up. And now Tarek looking bad as well. Ray is safe across the wall, but still getting pressure. And now he and team are running away. Three kills for none in EA. They've got a Baron. A very nice job. EA completely understanding they had the upper hand in that fight. The steal from Zero, and then the entrance into the fight from Gasty, just getting in there, reckless, swinging everybody. And Bigglebun's doing a great job in the outside of positioning himself for complete damage. Usually, an AD carry may have to click a few times to get back in a position, but he made sure his positioning was always good for his abilities to be used, a net to get away, and the attack damage from his Infinity Edge right now. So it looks like they're going to pick up an uncontested Baron here, about 30 three minutes into the game. We're going to see that again around 30, 38.50. And these guys are now going to be challenged. No, no, they're not going to challenge in there. They're, they're going to leave that blue buff that possibly may be up. They're going to head top, push for a turret. So with Baron, a little bit more global gold from the, the turret as well. EA is sitting quite pretty right now. 5,000 gold in the lead. Yep, and they're going to go for turrets. And I like this move. A good move as well from Wizard uh, on Amazon. He's actually going to move around and keep shoving his right-hand side lane. Honestly, if I were EA, I'd just say, go for it. We'll trade you. We can push faster than Timo can. They've already sent Olaf back to defend. I think this would have been a great time for EA to get some more turrets for themselves. They've still only killed these three outer turrets. Gas is going to do everything he can, of course, to keep pushing these all down. Wow, look at that undertow. So much damage. Is one shotting ranged minions a 400 AoE damage axe? That is a very painful thing. And it's also going to slow. If he picks that up again, you're only going to catch it in the back of the head once more. So, Olaf, very scary right now. Looks like everybody's ultimates do seem to be up. We have summoner spells down on EA side. A few flashes ignites the exhaust and summoner healer down for Soraka. So, the triple heal will not be available for next fight. We'll have to see if that proved useful 
for them in the last one versus Amazon at that Baron. They are going to start pressuring this. They have a good minion wave with Malzahar's minion as well. He's going to be able to take a little bit more damage as they poke towards this turret. Zero will taking a little bit of his own damage as he face tanks a turret shot. They may be able to get this one down. Soraka throwing those stale bananas, and they are going to be able to drop that turret quite hard. If they're going to keep shoving on in, I like this by EA. They poked down their fourth turret of the game. Zero so taking a whole lot of damage for really no reason. Well, gets healed up by Soraka, and he's going to be fine right now. Does have 300 armor when that heal is on, and Wizard still shoving that bottom lane. They know they can't 5v5 with Baron, so they're just trying to delay as much as possible. That smoke bomb from Gray is very, very strong, but they're going to go in for this. Masai taking a whole lot of pain. They're jumping in on Morgana, she's going to melt immediately, and we're going to be shoved away as well. Now a 2 versus 5 right here, but Rush Wizard is back. Rolante about to fall down, but it's so good for the pain. Zyro could drop down here, taking a whole heck of a lot of pain. That will be a death. Gassy getting shoved around. Exhaust is on. They can pick up this kill actually very easily. They're still going for the pressure. The exhaust oh, wow. going to keep him alive though. And they picked up Tebow now as well. That can't hold the force back raise. A dominating team fight by EA may give them the Nexus turrets they require here to take this down. Zero targeting them quite hard. Scott can be pushed out of this one. And it's go oh, the Piltover Peacemaker almost taking him out from Caitlyn, that long range Q. And it looks like EA will bring it into a game three. EA yeah, taking that one down. Nice kill as well at the very end there. One to one this score. EA bringing it back. Amazon. They took that first one in a very, very close game. Wow. EA looked a lot more convincing here, though, still a neck and neck battle. And we are now down to the third and final game. The Grand Finals of the After Hours Gaming League. What up, crowd? How you guys doing? There are player stations as they're just hanging out. That is going to be Amazon. There's uh, Lord Zale right there, your jungler for Amazon. They're discussing what's going on, what may have happened that last game. It was really a turnaround, and it was a more definitive win, I'd say, for yeah. EA than, than the last game win was for either team. You know, as I was back and forth, obviously EA was able to grab it, but... Amazon able to really pull, or EA, Amazon was able to grab it, and EA rather able to pull this one out.